I want to guarantee that we can build that vision. And I want to guarantee that we can build it at a price that the owner can afford. The first project of significance was Bilbao. And we took the, uh, our team to Bilbao. They spent a week with the six steel subcontractors and they trained them how to use Katia. And the bids came in 18% under budget, six separate contractors, and a 1% spread. And when I saw that, I realized we got powers here that architects don't usually have. The latest thing is the curtain wall for Beekman. 76 story tower, a rental building, Manhattan. The facade looks like wrinkled cloth. It's made of stainless steel. There are no two pieces the same. It's based on trying to get bay windows. So when you're in a tall building in Manhattan, you go against the window and it's flat. And if you can walk into a bay window, all of a sudden you're in outer space. It's a whole different experience. And with Katia, they were able to corral that into a reasonable cost. And when the day it was bid, the final bids were 200 bucks a square foot. That same week, a flat curtain wall in Manhattan was 200 bucks a square foot. So that's the miracle of stuff. You can control costs and you can do stuff which can only be done with Katia. You can't do it with any other software that's out there. And it allows for the elimination of collisions. So if somebody makes a move that's starting to interfere with mechanical or the lighting or the structure, it's immediately noted, the others catch it, and, and the issue is addressed right then and there. The savings are clearly there, and it can lead to architects being more in control, taking more responsibility, and delivering better buildings. If you can have the building department electronically approve a building online, you realize how much time that saves. A 76-story building would be a pile of plans this high. It's the better part of a year before they can really figure it out, whereas if it was online 3D, they'd get it. The CATIA program could just take, that, take off with that. And and the clarity and the amount of detail that we could put in it would be enormous and very powerful. Once you get into it, you can do project management. You can do a lot of the organization of delivery of materials and the purchasing materials. The construction industry will inevitably have to get into it. The SO builds the 777 aircraft with no paper. That's where we're going. But I think it's a revolution. I'm 81 and I've committed a good hunk of my life to change the industry in a way that architecture can do what it is supposed to do, which is to design buildings within budgets on time and schedules and to maintain those in the real world. Bill Bao brings in 300 million euros a year to the community every year and it's growing even during recession. Disney Hall is filled every night. People come to it because it works. The only way you could do that, including the acoustics, including everything, is with the precision of the software we have. The construction industry is so many people, so many hands involved. And to get a building that looks like Bill Bauer Disney Hall, that has the feeling that I want, I don't know any other way to do it. You wouldn't be able to do it. There's no other software out there, no other engineering tools that I know of that could uh, achieve what we've achieved with Deso.